Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. The Super Mario All-Stars version. Now, this game is uh, widely known for being the best Super Mario Bros. game. I know that's an opinion, but still, um, a lot of people really love this game, and I also really love this game. I think of all the uh, Mario games out there, this is probably my second all-time favorite side-scrolling platformer. So, uh, yeah, I put this game right behind Super Mario World for my favorite 2D Mario platformer, so... Yeah, you can probably tell that this game is very, very important to me because I love Super Mario World almost to an obsession, and, you know, to have a game that's second best is, you know, a pretty good honor in my regard, so... Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, because I've talked enough. Here we are at World 1, which is Grassland. Uh, Grassland is a very short world. Only six levels, a fortress, and a castle. So, uh, yeah, that shouldn't take us very long. Um, for this video, I'm going to do the entire world. Uh, but for all future videos, if an entire world takes me more than 20 minutes... I'm probably going to upload that world into parts, and if I do, it's not going to be on the same day, so, uh, yeah, if a video, or if a world takes me longer than two videos, or well, it takes longer than one video, I will not be doing, you know, the entire world on one day, I'll just be splitting it off into, uh, different days, so that's how I'm going to handle this project. In all honesty, I really don't want to finish this game up too quickly, so that's the only reason why I'm doing that. But on the other hand, I don't want the game to take too long either, because, uh... I'd like to get to some other projects, as much as I love the Mario games, so, uh... That's exactly what I'm gonna aim for. So yeah, you can find some, uh, cool little secrets here and there if you, uh... Stay in the clouds. There's a pipe over here we can get inside. We have to be a little careful, though. Also a P-switch right here, which will give you some much needed coins. Okay, let me fly all the way up there. And to celebrate that this is the third Super Mario Bros. game, they give you a three in coins. How cool is that? I always found that really neat for some reason. But yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish the level. At the end of each level, or each normal level, not counting the fortresses and whatnot, uh, you actually collect a card, and if you get three of the same cards, then you'll get a 1-up bonus. If you get three cards and you don't have a match amongst all three of them, you'll just get 1-up. So, uh, yeah, that is basically what happens there. Let's go ahead and start the next level. Uh, like Super Mario Bros. 1, I did do a lot of research on this game before playing it. I have looked over maps, so I know where most of the secrets of this game are. If I miss one, don't go crazy. It happens. I'm not going to cry about it if I do miss something. And yeah, that's basically what I'll be doing with that. So yeah, I'm once again going to try to keep it pretty chill when it comes to this game. Because that's the way you should play Mario. You shouldn't play Mario with a... You know, you shouldn't play it to just be all informative. You shouldn't play it to be angry. Mario games are fun. You should always play them just to have fun. That's always kind of been my philosophy. If you get angry while playing Mario, obviously something is wrong. Which, I'm probably a big hypocrite for saying that because I do get angry a lot in my Let's Play. Lame! Actually, wait, does the star respawn? No, it doesn't. Well, shoot. Uh, didn't mean to lose that star, man. But oh well. I think it's easier to get a star if you uh, don't have the star man anyway, so... That worked out just fine. Okay, so uh, World 1-3 actually has a very big secret. And it's a secret I'm going to explain, but not really show. Because, uh, like Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2, this is going to be a no warping run. And you actually find the first of three warp whistles in this level, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna get that uh, first warp whistle. 
But I'll definitely show you guys how to do it, so don't worry about that. Also, you can get a 1-up here if you're uh, crafty enough. Hooray for being crafty! And I think I just got like two 1-ups in a row because I got 100 coins while I was up there, so that's kind of cool. Anyway, you actually get the uh, warp whistle over here. You actually get it on this white block right here. What you have to do is you have to stand in the middle of the white block and then hold down on the control pad for a few seconds. When you do that, you'll fall through the background and then all you do there is just run to the exits. You'll go behind this, the black screen and you'll find a toad house where you'll get the first warp whistle. And uh, I forgot to get a running jump so I could get that last star man, but whatever. Yeah, I wasn't thinking, because I was too busy explaining about the warp whistle. Uh, but yeah, the reason why I'm not collecting the warp whistles, because, like, you can still collect them and just not use them. However, I have a very, very bad habit of using them when I don't mean to. So I just wanted to avoid that if that so happened in this Let's Play, so that's why I'm not using it. Anyway, we have a toad house right here. Let's get a mushroom. And let us move on to level 4, where we actually have another secret. So, uh, before you actually start this level, look at your coins. We have 25 coins, and uh, what we want to do in this level is collect 44 coins. So, we want to end this level with a coin amount of 69. <laughs> oh, dirty number. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do basically is uh, collect as much coins as we can without going over the 69 coin limit because, um, and there goes my phone. Uh, that phone always seems to ring when I don't want it to, when I'm trying to explain something. Uh, but basically, I believe there are about like 49 or 50 coins in this level. And if you go over 44 coins, you will not get it, so uh, make sure you get 49 on the nose, because otherwise you're not going to get what you want in this. Which, um, I might have actually failed this already, actually. Because I actually didn't get some very important coins. Ah, shoot, yeah, I didn't get it. Because I forgot a coin block because I was complaining too much about my phone going off. Yeah, there was like a uh, box with 10 coins earlier on in the level and that probably would have helped me get the coin amount I needed to get my 44. But don't worry, I can still show that off in future levels so uh, I can try again later. I just wasn't thinking in this instance. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. This is a spade house where you can play a little... A roulette game or a slot machine. Ah, uh, not quite. Yeah, you get nothing, nothing if you don't get a match. But if you get uh, the mushroom picture, you get two lives. If you get the uh, flower picture, you get three lives. And of course, if you get the star picture, you get five lives. So uh, that's normally how the distribution of the um, one-ups is given through the slots machine game and also through the uh, ending cards game as well so keep those numbers in mind anyway let's fly up here uh, up here you can actually find the second warp whistle if you go all the way to the right but once again not going to do that sorry guys we're gonna do things the normal way the way they're supposed to be done the old try and true way of doing things. That's just the way I like to do things. Hope you guys don't mind. I always got scared those spikes would hurt me no matter what, but... No, I was a kid, so I didn't know any better. Anyway, and here we have the fortress boss, which is Boom Boom. And uh, Boom Boom's actually supposed to make a... Uh, Reappearance in a uh, Super Mario Land 3D, the uh, new uh, 3DS Mario game that's coming out soon. Uh, I don't know what the technical name of that game's supposed to be. Okay, what the heck? The Hammer Bro never makes it up there. Like I've never seen the Hammer Bro make it up that far. 
Just for fun, I want to see if we can get him to go all the way in this corner over here. I doubt he will, but it'll be fun finding out. So let us continue. And here is the first cave level of the game. Uh, one thing I want to mention is I'm actually glad they uh, they remodeled the cave area because in the original Super Mario Bros. 3, the cave areas were blue and it looked like they were ice caves almost. And uh, as you can see, there's no ice here. And I just I, I, I like that they changed that because. Uh, the old cave design honestly just did not look very good in my own honest opinion so I thought it was like you know a nice breath of fresh air that they changed things for this game made things look a lot more graphically appeasing I guess you could say or appealing not appeasing anyway I don't have a super leaf or tanuki suit or anything that can fly so I can't grab the uh, one up that's actually in the air right here. It's fine though, I'm okay with coins. Coins are cool. Plus, we also have fireballs too, and fireballs are awesome because they burn everything. Anyway, I guess I, I could explain that, uh, level 1 4 secret again very quickly and basically what that would do uh, basically if you get 44 coins in that level uh, at the very end of the level you'll actually unlock a secret toad house and I believe you get a p-wing if you find that toad house which is really cool also we have a spade card which will show off after we do the hammer bro fight unfortunately we can't let the hammer bro go all the way into the other corner so we'll go ahead and fight him now We're going to be very cheap with this fight. Haha. -ha. Sometimes you can find a power-up in these blocks, like right here. So yeah, make sure you hit the blocks before you end the level. And uh, let's check this out. This is a matching game. And uh, basically, you look for the right cards. And if you get a match, you get an item added to your inventory. And I still need to show that off, actually, so I'll do that now. Basically, you have an inventory where you can collect items uh, from the Toad Houses and from the uh, Hammer Bro fights as well. So, yeah, you basically get these items in your storage, and whenever you need to use one for the upcoming level, you can. But we have no use to use those yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. Normally, I don't even use my power-ups towards ne till near the end of the game anyway, so... Yeah, don't expect me to use those very much. If I do use them a lot, they're probably just mushrooms or something, so... Yeah, I try not to use my power-ups too much. Ah, no! Dang it. Ah, uh, missed another one-up. But anyway, the uh, rare item you can get from uh, this world is a P-Wing. And uh, a P-Wing is essentially just the uh, raccoon power-up, but you actually have infinite flight. So uh, the P-Wing is a really good tool for breaking levels. So if you suck at this game, you can always use a P-Wing to help you out. Although I try not to use P-Wings. Anyway, we just have one more mushroom house and then we're ready for the boss of World 1. Hooray, Super Leaf. We can use it for stuffs. But now let's go in this castle, which has a help bubble on the side of it. So yeah, I guess someone needs help. Oh no, the king is a cobra. So yeah, we have to... Uh, change the king back to normal by getting the magic wand which was stolen by one of the koopalings this is the first appearance of the koopalings they've appeared in a few games from here to there they reappeared in super mario world which released three years after this uh, they appeared in uh, new super mario bros wii which uh, 
didn't come out too long ago. Also had appearances in Yoshi's Safari, which was a Super NES Super Scope game. Uh, Mario's Missing, which uh, is a game people have barely even played. And they also appeared in a uh, Mario and Luigi um, partner, or no, Superstar Saga. But yeah, here is the uh, first Koopaling. This is Larry Koopa. You can jump on his head, or you can use fireballs. Either way, he doesn't take too many hits. I can't believe I actually took damage in that fight, though. Got kind of reckless, because I haven't played this game in such a long time. Or actually, no, that's not true. I did play through this game about a few months ago. Oh yeah, I actually played this game with uh, Madame Wario. So yeah, um, there we go. We change the king back to normal. And we get a letter from the princess. The letter from the princess will usually give you a tip about the game, and she'll also give you an item as well. In this case, she gave us a P-Wing, so we're going to hold on to that until we actually need it. But for now, let's close the letter. And here we are at World 2, Desert Land. But uh, that's all I'm going to do for this video. So this has been Slim Kirby. Uh, this has been Let's Play Super Mario Bros. 3. I will see you guys next time for Desert Land Madness. Later, folks.